So, Hala, big news this morning out of Barclays, this LIBOR scandal. We thought it cost the chairman his job yesterday. Today, it turns out CEO Bob Diamond resigns. Uh, tell us what's going on. I think it was only a matter of time before Diamond stepped aside. Uh, the pressure was mounting from investors, but particularly from regulators, and it sounds like that's what happened. There was mounting pressure from the FSA, other regulators saying that this guy needs to go. And Bob Diamond is going to testify before members of parliament tomorrow. Uh, in the UK, interestingly enough, on Independence Day, an American right. testifying in the UK. Right, uh, but there. what do we expect to hear from him? I know that there's now new revelations that apparently the Bank of England may have triggered some of this LIBOR fixing. I think you make a good point. There will definitely be some fireworks between Diamond and regulators there. There's apparently emails that went back and forth between the Bank of England regulator and Diamond as far back as during the crisis telling him maybe you should uh, lower that LIBOR rate you guys are actually posting there. So I think that'll put a spotlight definitely on regulators rather than the Diamond who's already, you know, he's out of a job. So what does he have to lose? A lot of the focus on this LIBOR scandal has been on, or all the focus virtually has been on Barclays since they agreed to settle for right. $450 million or thereabouts last week. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of other banks that are involved in this and big names. We're talking JP Morgan, Citigroup, UBS, who was rumored to be the first to settle before right. Barclays did. Uh, you know, what could the fallout be there? Is this just the beginning of this uh, scandal? I think it's a scary implication, especially for a JP Morgan Morgan that already went through a huge scandal with its trading loss. Um, but more so, Barclays came out first thinking that it would kind of get away with, you know, we cooperated with regulators, we have a huge record finally paid, thinking it might kind of slip under the radar, but it lost its chairman and its CEO. So that doesn't bode well for the other big banks involved. Right, and they lost their COO today too, who also resigned, and it turns out the chairman is coming back to help them find a new it's CEO. A mess. It's, it's a, mess. a real mess. Uh, but LIBOR, what does it really matter? Why do we care about LIBOR for the, you know, the average Joe? So LIBOR is important not only to banks themselves but to consumers because they use it to set the rates on very important loans like business loans, mortgages, credit cards. And so if they were keeping these rates artificially low or if they were, if regulators were pushing them to keep these rates low, it means mm -hmm. we didn't get a real look at what these rates should have been at. Right. Uh, how that affects the economy, how that affects business and banking, mm -hmm. I'm not sure we know that yet but it's something that I'd imagine regulators and uh, you know, governments will be very interested in getting to the bottom of.